Getting colours right in Mac OS X. Now the first stage is to make sure that Photoshop is correctly set as far as colour settings are concerned. So we go to the top of the uh, of the edit menu. So this is Photoshop CS2 on a Mac OS X on a, 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 a Mac uh, um, and a standard uh, a standard iMac. So file and we go next to the file menu that's edit and down the bottom of the edit menu now we've made the screen as big as we can here so let's uh, let's go to the bottom here there we are color settings so we click on color settings and we're now checking how we've set this up so color settings now don't worry if you can't read uh, too clearly any of this because I'll go through it stage by stage so this is color settings which is at the bottom of the edit menu within Photoshop and this applies pretty well to Photoshop, anything from about Photoshop 6 upwards. So you go to colour settings and we've got the working spaces, RGB, that's uh, the RGB working space is always Adobe RGB 1998, this is the correct setting, this is the industry standard settings, CMYK, US web coated swap version 2, the grey is dot gain 20%, the working spaces is dot gain 20%. Uh, color management policies, RGB, preserve embedded profiles. CMYK is the same, preserve embedded profiles. Uh, grayscale, again, uh, preserve embedded profiles. Let's go down a little bit so we can see a little bit better, that's it. Profile mismatches, ask when opening, ask when pasting, and ask when opening. We click that on. We go a little bit further down and we, we got here conversion options. Uh, we should have Adobe ACE as our as our option. And here we do have uh, we do have relative colorimetric. That's the correct setting there. We do have black point compensation ticked and we used we do have dither uh, ticked. Now um, let's move that up a little bit more. Now, advanced controls further down the bottom there. These last two, desaturate monitor colours, you have that unticked. And blend RGB colours, again, you have that unticked. Now, that is the correct industry standard setting that we all tend to abide by. And we can save that in today's, as today's date. So that is the, that is the fourth of the 5th 09 and we just save that in the settings folder so we know that we've uh, when we've actually changed our settings we changed them on a particular date so we click OK now the next thing we need to do is install our printer profiles now our printer profiles are those little uh, correction uh, uh, files that are issued to us from the ink manufacturer in this case it's Lyson the ink manufacturer and we'll close down Photoshop now the the profiles that we've had from Lyson in this case have come from the CD that we've had uh, we've we've been issued to us when we bought our continuous ink system let's look across here to an Epson 2880 there's the there's the continuous ink system and there's the there's the tubes and everything leading into the into the um, into the donor cartridges. Now there's our, our image that we've just printed out. So we're going to check whether that image is, is correct. And then we go across uh, across the other side. There's our monitor, our Mac monitor. Then on the other side, we've got a very nice graphite viewer. Now those viewers are extremely good. They're good value at about sixty pounds. We sell them online at Marit.com. And here we have the, the, the standard image that we've had sent to us. Now we can get this image sent to us either by sending off to Lyson or to our sales Marit Limited, uh, www.marit.com. And this evaluation image, which has been donated to us very kindly by uh, Tony Riley. Now Tony has come up with this very effective uh, montage of images which actually checks 
Let's move that up there. Which actually, uh, which actually makes sure that we achieve uh, a good neutral. We've got a, a, a neutral uh, on the side here. We've got a very good smooth gradation on this side. We've got our primary colours. And we've got a number of different images here, which checks all sorts of different uh, different aspects. We've got extremely clean primary colours, a clean yellow, and of course we've got a, a pale flesh tone, a clean pale flesh tone, which is one of the most difficult things to achieve. So this certified accurate print, you can send off to us, uh, we'll send that off free of charge to you, and you've got yourself uh, 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 a, a print that you can check your own printer's uh, accuracy. So you can apply to that underneath our video here. You'll actually see where a little checkbox where you can apply to receive this certified accurate print. Now let's go back up to up to the uh, the the profiles. Now you can download these profiles. You you've bought a particular printer. Let's say a 2400 or 2880. A wide range of Epson printers or Canon printers up on the Lyson website or indeed on the Marat website you'll be able to download these profiles these printer profiles um, in this case we got this from the CD these so we've got five uh, we've got five profiles here now we've got to install them into the system now in this case with with Mac OS X all we need to do is go to the Go to the hard drive. There we are at the top there, the Mac hard drive. Uh, so we we click on this Mac hard drive. Let's bring it in. Let's get it into the center so we can see what we're doing. The next one is users. Let's look down the bottom. There we are. That's that's users there. Let's bring it up a little bit so you can see what you're doing. So users go up the top here. So we got iMac Home. The next one is library, that's this one here, library. Then we're looking for color sync. Now somewhere here, there it is, that's color sync. Uh, and then we've got a folder called, there it is, profiles. And these are all of the profiles that we have in this particular system. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that over to one side and the other lot we've got here what we're going to do is just drag and drop them so we've got the top one here we're going to just drag that so we click that bring it in that's the first one next one we're going to click that one drag it in it finds its own position next one there this one here which is the uh, the standard fine art in this case we're dealing with the two the Epson 2880 but this this discipline applies to the wide range of different Epson printers that we would deal with so don't get too bothered that it happens to be an, an Epson 2880 shove it off to one side and we've got the last we've got the last one there which is which is that one there there we are smashing so we now shut that down that's the profiles folder and we've now moved our we've now moved our, our profiles into the into the folder 